Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Safety Plays here with Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online. Today I'm actually going to show you an event. So there is an event taking place called the Night Revels. First of all, I'm going to show you where it is. So we're just going to have a look for it right now. So first things first, you'll need to get out of the harbour into the marketplace and then we need to find House Tarasco. So we're just going to go to the other end of the marketplace. House Tarasco should be right here. So just gonna go this way. This is for anybody who's never done it before. If you know uh, the area pretty well, like if you're a returning player, then it's basically in Delera's uh, graveyard. So that's where you need to go. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you first where everything is, give you a general idea of what the event is. And I'm gonna show you the first part of it. I won't be able to show you the rest though, because you have to be a minimum of level seven to do um, some of it. So. <laughs> Well, actually most of it like you can collect basically I'll, I'll go through it when i'm there so i'm just running up there we go so this is where the night revels take place and there is delera's graveyard now the so first thing you need to do is i would highly suggest going through these and seeing what you want so at first you gotta show me your wares so Basically, you do these quests uh, where you collect ingredients to make either cosmetics or armor or weapons or even consumables as well. As well, there's also all um, organ slot items which are very useful. A lot of people are saying um, it's definitely worth going for. Uh, what did they also say was worth trying for? Let's have a look. Is it this one? Yeah, someone's, I have heard someone say, um, if you're going to be doing this, Hood of Unrest is really good. Uh, so definitely try going for that item. Um, what else? Like, these items are not too bad. Um, you can get some better named items and sometimes some, ev some other non-named loot could be better, but it's definitely worth having a look because a lot of them have like Ghostbane and Vorpal. Um, so definitely just have a, a Ganda through it. I'm just trying to find the item that I thought was actually really decent. There we go. Uh, so someone said this item's actually really good for oozes, which is very rare to come across. So if you want something like that, then you can definitely grind for this um, item. And what was it that I enjoyed when I did this? I think I went, I think I had like a crossbow. Yeah, like the crossbow and the normal and the normal bows are actually okay. They're not amazing, but <laughs> it's nice to have something that has Ghostbane and Vorpal. Like that is really insane. So yeah, definitely go for something like that. The cloak's quite nice as well. Again, you can probably get better cloaks. And then you have the uh, consumables. So, Ruby of Ghostbane, uh, people are saying definitely go for one of these. Uh, apparently Vampire Slayer is really nice as well. I'm not sure what this one is. I think these ones are the best ones to go for. And apparently to go for the Diamond of Wisdom and Intellect. Because the thing is, these are actually quite cheap to what you usually get them for. So that's why people are saying to go for them. And you also have these candies as well. And these candies usually last around one hour. They don't require many ingredients at all. And they give you like bonuses. So this one like gives you plus five to melee power, range power, and a plus ten bonus to universal spell power. So stuff like that is just so handy to just collect and go for it, you know? And you can also, like like I said, there's cosmetic stuff. Now, getting cosmetic stuff is actually quite difficult. Um, so, yeah, definitely definitely have a go. Now, I'm going to show you where all the quests are for the ingredients first. Now, I can't go into any of them because you have to be a minimum of level 7. Uh, but you have these adventures here. So if you click on them, they will give you uh, the quest detail and they'll tell you exactly what you can collect. But to do these quests, you need to collect keys. Now, to collect keys, now this is use this is something you can do at any level, or I don't know, maybe it's because I can do it at my level. Um, so I'm just going to enter and I'm going to show you this one. So we are going to be doing a quest today. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to buff myself because obviously I want to be careful. Now, there is a lot of enemies in here. During the night revels, 
the plain of Maybar becomes coterminous with this corner of Stormreach. Dark energies are building throughout the graveyard. Destroy the undead before they let the rest of the city. Oh. All right, they stopped talking now. By the way, um, from what I've read on forums, when you do this quest, first time you do this quest, try if you're able to, try to do a level higher than you to get as much first time XP as you can. But if you go back again to farm keys, uh, then it is a case, you can actually do the level four levels lower than you and it won't really impact the, um, it won't impact the farming value. So I haven't actually got a key yet. Now the keys are actually quite a rare drop. Uh, you can get anything from... I say you usually get anything from two to five keys in a sitting. Um, again, can be any amount. Um... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't think I've actually got one yet. Allowing you to explore further to the east. There we go. Nice. Also, if you're a caster, probably look out for your mana just because you do use a lot of mana in this quest. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Quite proud of that. Let's, uh, let's attract some attention, but not too much. Ah, one of them jumped in front of everything. I was like, no. I don't think I've actually... Ah, uh, what do we do? I guess fire? Again, I have not received a key, what the hell? <laughs> ah! Well, we killed him, so that's the main thing. Let's do this. Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna do this as well. Just get my health up. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a really bad hit. Also, I heard if you go into a quest like this, do not get Highlands. I don't, I don't know if it's true, but. We'll have a look. So there's nothing around here. So we're just gonna go and face the... So this is the mini boss. You have this guy, then you have the actual boss. The dense fog blocking the northern and southern paths near Dolores' tomb lifts. Obviously, you can uh, hear the shuffling steps of the undead growing nearer. Obviously, the higher level you are, the harder this gets. So this is actually quite easy for me because I'm only level five, but I did this on my level um I did this on my level 20 character. <laughs> and oh my god, it was it was quite hard. Like she did manage to do it luckily, but I don't know. It's supposed to scale to normal difficulty. It's just my character is so badly made that she did it was a lot. Wow, I am not getting any keys. What is this? It usually tells you to the side if you get any. All right, hopefully we'll get some soon. What is this craziness? Oh, uh, it doesn't help that my skeleton guy is like killing stuff right away.
Oh, we got one. We got a Night Revels key. Okay. We finally have one. <laughs> After doing most of the quest. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this does happen, by the way. Sometimes you'll do, like, a really bad run where you practically get no keys. It is crazy. Alright. Mr. Bat, come on, die. I'm also gonna just uh, make myself heal a little bit. Let's go. Oh. Okay, there are still stuff around the surrounding areas. It's just my guys going to... Some nice instant killing though, I'm actually quite proud of this character. She does need a little bit more firepower, but... You spot moving forms in the area we'll in be front fine. Oh! We got a Night Rose key again! We've got two keys! Two whole keys, everybody! <laughs> but yeah, it can be, like, I think I said it's anything between two and five keys you usually get for, um, for a trip. The swirling dark energies of Maybar dissipate. There we go. Severed the graveyard's connection with the plane of night. For a short while, at least. So basically, you do get one key. Uh, so you need one key per quest. So this is something you would have to grind. Now you can either grind the keys and go into the adventures, or sometimes you may see them in the auction house. I don't think you see them that often, though. No, I'm just gonna have a look. Key. Oh, there we go. Yeah, people are selling Night Revel keys on here. So you will see a lot of people offering them. Same with the ingredients as well. So if I go into ingredients, people are actually selling chocolates, um, apples, like all different types of ingredients to get your items. So if you're very lazy and you actually have astral shards, go for it. I'm actually going to double check the platinum house as well. Is it on here? No, it's not. I think you may be able to get them on the platinum house as well. So you'd have to have astral shards. Just use platinum. But it's very unlikely. But anyway, guys, this is my um, idea on this adventure. Uh, basically, all I can say is look for the item you want the most collect the keys and then once you're happy with that then go and grind for the ingredients for the item you're looking for so definitely uh worth a go this only happens once a year so probably get to it try to find time if you can the quests aren't necessarily that long uh some of them are like five ten minutes and then you have some quests that could take you up to 30 minutes depending on how depending on how you do it because some people like to take their time and do it step by step and some people like to just rush to the end so but yeah i'll leave it there um i hope you have a lovely time and i'll see you in my next one bye bye for now